I'm Katrina and this is So in Terror and we are going to have a series on how we built this brooder. So this brooder is five feet by three feet. Three feet's a little too deep, <laughs> but that's what we did. Um, and so I'm going to make this a series. There is tons of footage for me to go through, so that makes it easier on me, probably easier on you guys to watch, and plus it will have a few different skills in there that you might be able to apply to other projects. So we are going to start with cutting out the windows. So these are from the old windows of the house. Uh, when I when I bought the house, um, they had these really, really old windows and I kept them for years and did not know that it was going to be for quail. I thought it was going to be for a greenhouse, which still hasn't happened. <laughs> so um, we'll take you through that and then we'll go on to the next part. I'm just going to make this a series. Makes it easy on everybody. So enjoy. Enjoy watching us putting this together and uh, our trials and errors and hopefully you'll learn something from it and learn that you can in fact do You can do the same thing. You can make your own you can design your own and it's all good stuff. So enjoy So these are some old windows from my house when I got new windows several years ago I saved them thinking that I was going to make a greenhouse and I didn't, so we're going to use it to make brooder. Um, I got a glass cutter to cut it out, but he had a better idea. Just scraping it out with a... What is that called? Chisel? A chisel. And it seems to be working. Now these are very old windows. So in here, hold on, there's a clip, that's a metal clip, right there, and we didn't know that was there so we broke a few, so you have to be careful when you get to those if you have this kind of window. Here's what the clips looks like. Because what we found is that if you kind of jam right through, you end up breaking the glass. So we did have to tape a corner because it did break right there. But after it's all chiseled out, it's easy to lift up. And there's our piece of glass. Okay, here is a test run. I'm going to cut it over here where it's already broken. Um, and since we'll use kerosene, but we don't have kerosene, so we're using paint thinner. Hopefully it'll work. Um, this is stripe that right there. Oh, this needs to move. Alright, so I'm using that cutting tool, glass cutter, I think I have it on the thickest setting, here we go, oh, well I just broke that, here we go. didn't cut. I must not have done it hard enough. Let's try again. Let's see. Well, it worked. Okay. 
nice straight edge. You just have to uh, not cut yourself. Probably wear gloves. Have to press hard on this thing. So I've done a practice cut and it works with paint thinner instead of, um, you're supposed to use kerosene, but it does work. So I just lined it up and you have to put quite a bit of pressure. This is supposed to be straight up and down and put quite a bit of pressure down. I did a practice cut, so hopefully this one will go smoother. And that's the sound you want to hear. And take you down. That's, you can see that there's a line there. Maybe you can't, but there's a line right there. And we are going to snap it. it up. Maybe. Set it on top of the metal. And the I got most of it. No, I'm gonna try and score it again. I don't think you're supposed to rescore it, but too bad. Well, not quite straight, but probably usable. We'll set that aside. So we need several more and we'll be good. Nine and three eighths is what I'm looking for. So um, we have a broken corner over here. I'm going to line this up on the corner. <laughs> Always double check your measurements. Get a straight edge. Put our paint thinner. And hopefully cut a line. Ready, set, press. Well, I suck at doing this straight, that's for sure. You wanna try and break it with your theory? Uh, can you score it over here a little bit more? Cause well, we're not supposed to double score. Where? Right here. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Did everything got score all the way? I'm not sure about this, but it's kinda wavy. Okay, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Do your magic. Okay. We're filming this, it. by the way. Do you want gloves? No. You sure? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. You want me to press try. while you press? Yeah, try pressing on that side. Too. We got it almost perfect. Does that, does that side go too? Is this the one you're using or down? This one. So we are hoping this is the last. All right, we successfully broke the other one. Let's see if you can pretty, on, per, on purpose break this one. Pretty pretty weak glass. Let's see. Let's see. So the reason why we're cutting this one at two feet instead of three feet is because it had a crack and we have a one foot piece that we can use to make it a total of three feet. Alright. Oh, little corner up here. So we use the pry part on this glass tool. We tried it out and all it does is chip this glass. We think it's because the glass is too thin. So there's alternate methods here.
Oh, it's okay. Maybe that's where our cord can go through. <laughs> it's what? Maybe that's where our cord can go through. Oh, we're trying to cut it perfect. All right, are we ready to put things together? I think so. Thank you for watching. As I said in the beginning, this is one of a several series on how we did our brooder build. So hopefully now you know how to cut glass, learn from us, learn you have to actually apply a lot of pressure. And next video is going to be about us putting together the windows. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the bell notification so you can see the next one. Have a good day.